All right, so we have created a comments table and inserted some data in there. What we need to do is actually display that data in the admin. So let's go to the admin. And if we click on the comments, we're not going to see anything. So what we want to do is we want to have the same amount of information we got here. We want to have a similar table like this. And we want to be able to do the similar things like we do with this view or post um, table. All right. So let's go here. And what we want to do is copy the page post. Um, dot PHP because this post table have some other functionalities that we care about we like this we need to remove this nice 200 there but anyways we want to copy this and make it comments dot PHP all right let's do a save as on this page let's call it comments because we want to do some some of the same functionalities comments dot PHP and the default is of course going to be view all comments all right, instead of your post, of course, we're going to make that page right now. As a matter of fact, let's just copy all this right here. But let's save this document right here. And all right, that's about it. Let's right now, we later on, we're going to start adding some more cases here. But let's go ahead and create that in the includes. Right click on it. Let's create a page called view comment view all comments that PHP you see me creating here in the left side enter all right so let's have all the view or post information there so let's do control a or command a copy let's go to view all comments and paste it let's see what we get when we go here to comments there we go we get the same information as we get from all posts that, that's a good sign all right very good sign that means it's working all right so I'm gonna actually cut this video off here and on the next video we're gonna be start building this form especially for comments right this table all the queries and everything so anyway thank you so much for watching this lecture and I'll see you in the next one take care